Hello everyone and welcome to the Wednesday night edition of Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in tonight's video, we will cover today's FOMC statement, Jay Powell's press conference, and take a look at some penny stocks I am watching Thursday. But first, if you want our free alerts, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email first and then you can sign up with your mobile. Mobile is the fastest way to get our alerts and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, it'd be one plus area coded number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which will include a download link to the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from InsiderFinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no te- Discord rooms, no Telegram chat rooms whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here. Well, guys, as expected, uh, the FOMC increased uh, rates by 50 basis points. Uh, the Fed funds rate now is four and a quarter to four and a half percent. Last month, as you well know, it, it raised rates 75 basis points. Um, the, the central bank's uh, policy committee says that it still sees more rate increases ahead in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. There was some Fintwit fanboys. They were hoping or praying that the Fed was going to re- uh, raise its inflation target rate to 3%. That is highly unlikely. Uh, Jay Powell was asked about it in the press conference. He said that is not on the agenda. Uh, the Fed also pointed out that inflation remains elevated and job gains have been robust in recent months. So basically, as long as employment remains strong, inflation remains elevated, expect for further uh, uh rate hikes. Um, in terms of the price action, uh, this was the, uh, basically nothing happened up until the two o'clock. Two o'clock, we got the sell-off. j Powell started speaking, another sell-off, uh, and then the market started recovering. Uh, for what? I don't know. I think we're just in a chop session. Uh, the bulls can't win. The bears can't win. Uh, right now, as I said to, I've been saying in my videos right now, the, the market, uh, the SPY lacks direction. Uh, we're trading right around 400 on the SPY. Uh, and just either side of that has just been, you know, up five, down five. So it's just been a lackluster market. I did not trade uh, today's FOMC. I just was watching the, the press conference and I just, I it's making me feel bearish. Uh, I think we're going to go into a recession next year. Jay Powell is saying that they don't see a recession. Everybody else is saying a recession. Um, you know, that's my opinion. It's not financial advice. I just feel uh, I am not feeling bullish right now. Uh, I'm not bearish. I'm not like, you know, forecasting uh Armageddon. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I. I feel we're going to be. You know, in a chop session, not uh, going higher, not going lower. So uh, again, it's just right now. Uh, scalping and swing trading are the right strategies, in my opinion. And there's been a couple of winners. Uh, Rent. R e n t. I gave this one to you last week uh, in our videos. Uh, opened at a dollar fifty two. Uh, yesterday was a pause. We still had the uptrend. So it you know when a stock is not making, uh, when a stock continues to make uh, higher lows, that is bullish. So uh, we got uh, the market is continuing to step higher. Uh, it, uh, so a dollar fifty to three sixty four, up over a hundred percent in less than a week. So congrats to all that are banking in rent. Uh, we had someone make a comment yesterday: Is rent uh, uh, is this is it is it over? And it's uh, is is the rent due or is it over? L O L thoughts, and uh, we got further continuation today. So again, as long as today's low was. Uh, 
290. As long as 290 holds tomorrow, uh, we should continue uh, uh, trading higher. So again, if you want to use a trailing stop, uh, I would put it uh, right there at 290. Again, not financial advice. This is just educational purposes only. Next up is MULN. I talked about that uh, last night's video, up 23%. Congrats to uh, who uh, caught this move in MULN. Uh, two back-to-back -back press releases. Uh, you know, they keep feeding the PR, getting the bulls excited, but they keep diluting. So uh, MULN has just been a diluting pig. I think it's great for trading. It's got uh, huge volume, a lot of fanboys in it. Um, but again, it's just been diluting. Uh, there is uh, a, uh, they have a proposal to increase the, uh, the share count or they're possibly going to do a reverse split because they, you know, they have to keep raising more money. So again, um, let's see how it all plays out. Uh, moving on, uh, a few plays I like. Uh, first up is GAME. Uh, they announced last week a merger uh, with uh, between Game Square Esports Inc. and Engine Gaming and Media. But in the press release, what I really like about this is that uh, it says here Justin Ken is expected to lead the com combined company as CEO, and Lou Schwartz is expected to oversee the combined company's technology platforms as president. As president, in addition, Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys and John Goff, chairman and founder of Goff Capital Inc., will continue to be the largest investors of the combined entity. Uh, representatives of the Jones family and of Goff Capital will continue to hold significant board represent representation of the new company. Jerry Jones, you know, obviously he gets attention as the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, but the guy is a shark. He is a very, very smart businessman. Um, He's loaded up on CRK. Uh, this one was a penny stock. Uh, ran all the way to twenty-two dollars this year. It's trading at fifteen right now. Uh, this is, I mean, and Jerry, when he invests, he invests in size. Um, he's made billions of dollars off of CRK. Um, in addition to the Cowboys, he's, he owns Legends Hospitality Group with the New York Yankees. Very, very shrewd businessman. And, uh, you know, GAME, it's a penny stock. It's trading at $1.20 here. Um, uh, getting a lot of attention now on social media because of Jerry Jones. But again, this is one, you know, put it on your radar screen. Uh, certainly a, a lot to like uh, about this company. So uh, uh, there's the press release uh, uh, detailing uh, everything that's going on here. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details, but uh, there's a lot to like here. So uh, follow up uh, on GAME. I will continue covering it in uh, more detail. We'll, we'll do a write-up on insiderfinancial.com and I'll be covering it more in uh, these videos. Next up is another one that I want to uh, talk about is CORZ. Uh, this one has been uh, extremely beaten up. Uh, it, this is a Bitcoin miner. It's down, uh, it's off 97%. Uh, off its 52-week uh, high, down year-to-date, down 97%. Uh, B. Riley Financial, they have issued an open letter to uh, shareholders. Uh, it says here, in light of course, science, scientific strategic alternatives process with respect to its capital structure, B. Riley has engaged with the company to restructure its debt and provide liquidity to avoid a potential unnecessary and value destructive bankruptcy proceeding. We believe that there is a path forward and have been proactive in working through a solution specifically by providing debt on a number of unencumbered assets. B. Riley strongly urges the company's board of directors to work with creditors expeditiously to achieve a product resolution for the benefit of all core scientific shareholders. So again, they're saying bankruptcy is not necessary at all. B. Riley is well known. Uh, this is a diversified financial services company um, so it's signed specifically by its founder, Bryant Riley. So again, uh, CORZ uh, is on my radar for tomorrow. Uh, next up is CRZN. Uh, this one here is trading at 43 cents. 
Uh, what's interesting about CRZN has just a $15 million market cap and a net $72 million on the balance sheet. So uh, certainly one here that is extremely uh, an undervalued play, uh, extremely beaten up. Um, let's see here, RSI, look at this, RSI at 14, uh, made new 52-week new, uh, lows today. Uh, so certainly uh, watch this one as a bounce. The two days ago, they filed a $200 million mixed shelf. Um, obviously, they're getting ready to do some things here. Um, they have plenty of cash. Um, so again, uh, SRZN is certainly one uh, that I am watching for tomorrow. Lastly, guys, is SOFI. Uh, this is another one that has been extremely beaten up. Uh, major, major short position, um, short interest, 93 million shares, um, almost uh, a $500 million bet that the company is going to, uh, uh, the pr share price is going to continue dropping. But what's caught my interest is the CEO just keeps buying. I mean, look at all the CEO just buy, buy, buy. I mean, he's been buying, you know, 996, 973. He's been buying all the way down. Uh, recent purchases as low as 429. Uh, he made a uh, combined, he bought $5 million worth here just recently. Uh, again, he, he, he knows something. He's the CEO, obviously. Uh, he's putting his money where his mouth is. Uh, certainly, SOFI has been uh, really beaten up. Uh, major, major short position. And I think this one here is certainly uh, one uh, to put on your radar screen. But guys, last night I talked about the uh, you know what's going on in the markets with uh, the Atlas Trading Crew. I have no position in any of these stocks uh, at the moment. I am watching them. Uh, may uh, uh, initiate a position tomorrow, depending on the price action. But I'm giving you uh, my watch list, uh, trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Again, this is not financial advice. Uh, this is only uh, uh, for your uh, educational purposes only. Again, as we say, you know, we are not investment advisors. The video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This is a solicitation recommendation by seller hold securities the video is our opinion it's meant for informational educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice and guys if i see anything in the pre-market that i really like i will send out an alert so make sure you click that link sign up it's completely free guys uh no spam your info is never shared unsubscribe at any time and you know as signing up you will get the free insider financial guide to penny stocks ebook so go ahead give us a try uh like i said we do screens uh, every day we send out alerts before the opening bell. Uh, this way you can decide if it's right. If you know, do your own due diligence and decide uh, what we're saying about a particular stock is right for you or not. Or consult with your nearest financial advisor. With that being said, I want to wish everyone good luck tomorrow. Remember to uh, smash that like button and also hit the notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. And uh, we will be back live tomorrow after the bell with a new video update. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck and bye-bye.